What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to pair your LG washer to the Wi-Fi and connect it through your smartphone. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head to the App Store, whether you have an iPhone or an Android, and go ahead and download the app. I have pre-downloaded the app. It's called SmartThing Q. So we're going to go ahead, launch the app, and then you will have to create an account. I'm just going to sign in with my Google account. Now once you have created an account, I'm going to turn the washer on and we're just going to add a device by clicking on the plus button, clicking OK and now we're going to find our washer, so front loading washer. Yes. Now it's going to tell us to press and hold the Wi-Fi button on the washer for three seconds, so that is this one here. And now you'll see the Wi-Fi indicator start blinking. We'll hit next on the application and it's gonna tell us to go and connect to the um, device via Wi-Fi. And once we're in settings, we're gonna tap on Wi-Fi and find LG Smart Laundry 2. Now behind that, that is your Wi-Fi password. So EF25, it's part of the name. So EF to five, and I believe you have to do this twice. So then again, E, F, two, five. Join, it's gonna make a successful connection. Now we can go back to the Smart Things app. Once we are here, it's gonna tell us to please wait. And now it's going to search for our own Wi-Fi network that we would like the washer to connect to. And so this is my current Wi-Fi network. I'm going to put in the password. Now once I've gone ahead and put the password in, we're going to just hit tap on connect. Now it's going to relay those settings to the washer so the washer knows which Wi-Fi network to connect to. Okay, as you can see, we've just added the washer. It gives us a promo for Amazon Dash. We're just gonna go ahead and skip that. And it looks like the washer is still connecting. Let's give it a few more minutes. And it is successful. It's gonna update the firmware. And after the firmware has been updated, then we can use the application to control the washer and get notifications about when our cycle is done. Okay guys, so the firmware has been completely updated and I do wanna go through this application very quickly to show you some of the features. Um, so the first thing is we won't be able to ever control the washer without it being on. So you have to physically turn it on first. And that is a safety feature because you don't wanna accidentally run a load and you don't know what's in the washer. You know, somebody might be messing around with the washer and that when you start a load um, and you're not at home. So you do have to turn the washer on to uh, control it from the application once you are in here to actually be able to remote start the app um, you have to turn that feature on on the washer so right here remote start you press and hold that and then it allows remote start and remote controlling and what that is good for is you put your clothes in there and say you go out and you don't expect to be back home until the next 12 hours you can remote start this so that the cycle starts at the 11th hour. Um, that way your clothes isn't staying in the washer, smelling, you know, like have, having that um, long water smell or that moldy smell if your washer just, if your clothes stays in there for too long. Now we can adjust all the settings here, cycle, soil level, temperature, spin, um, and all that. And then once we're all finished configuring those settings, we can hit smart wash. And now our washer should start washing our clothes. Now when the washer is done, you can actually get, you will get a notification that pops up on your phone and that will let you know that um, your clothes have been finished. So you can see the washer is spinning right now. It'll also bring up the time 
the thing is it's de de detecting the load so once the load starts it will only bring up the time but that is how you connect your LG washer to your smartphone uh, we live in a very highly technological world now. Can't wait to see what it looks like in another decade from now. If you guys found the video helpful, please leave me a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. Check out my channel for more tech videos. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.